Swift gonna check in with the top side. Towers have fallen on either sides as Lua could be in trouble here. Swift gonna get the Umboro to really start things off. But Dark going after the AD carry there. Peko in trouble, but a great unbreakable there from Moore. Could protect him. Peko still cutting around. The TP's already in from that top side. V gonna try and lock somebody up. Lua could be the target, but the sort of split here. Swift is gonna get healed up and he gets slammed into the wall. Kalista gonna pick up first blood and the rest of OMG will keep moving in. The flash double play is good. The hook's better as more. He's going to flash over the wall, but still die. Kalista going to get the double, and maybe more here is OMG. Unrelenting Icon goes in over the top. He picks up V. OMG! Pick up three early kills. And does get the Kikun onto Swift. Swift overreaching, perhaps, but top lane dive's coming. It's going to be more that's going to be getting the lockdown onto Dark here. Peko picks up the kill, and meanwhile in the mid lane, it's going to be Icon that gets a solo kill onto LeBlanc. Put another knock. Xiao, and SMLZ was thought to be the protege to Wei Xiao. Come on, the mid lane. This looks like we have a little bit of an ARAM going on here. As Doimbi is going to get hooked after using his W. Death must be popped up to LeBlanc. Peko's already trying to kite backwards. And now they're going to try and turn this one around. Dark is in here as well. Swift getting a lot of damage down onto these OMG members. But look at this. Icos going back in. Gets a kill. Tries to get the kill onto Swift. Nice flash Taku coming on. Peko's going to go down as SMLZ joins the fight late. Never happened before. And OMG looked to be the first successful team. Going on the bottom lane here, Swift's actually going to get jumped on by Icon. He's popped the death mark onto this Rex site. He's getting taken down incredibly low. He's going to go back to a shadow as Tran. He's trying to pick up the last bit of damage to the Swift. He's been exhausted though. Takes the lantern, trying to get out there, but here comes Doinby. He picks up one kill. SMLZ is going to throw Law into V here, who is supercharged. But OMG's health bars are diminishing as it's only the anti carry that is desperate. Lies the goal lead, despite the fact that OMG have been dominating this entire map up until that point. And again, it's very indicative of QG to fall behind in the early game. They've been better about it. Algo actually going to try and defend this bot lane turret here. SMLZ managed to get the last auto attack down. Here comes a teleport from the top lane. It's going to be Dark that joins them. Moore is the first person to go down. OMG pick up a kill. OMG have kind of funneled in. This is how we're going to beat them. Could be a fight brewing. Another great hook there from Lua. Swift getting locked up. He's going to get jumped on an icon. there, to take him out. Diving in onto Pekka, but it almost for his death. Does go down to the tower shutters. Doimbi is back in. Wreaking havoc. There's the double as Pekka's going to pick up the third. Now SMLZ has to go on the run. And that's a flash ball from V. He's got the snare. Four kills for Xiaogu. OMG. I a look at the bottom lane here. V is going to be split pushing on his rise. Has a teleport available. But Pekka's up in the top lane. And that's going to mean more is going to get tower dive by OMG here. Icon will be able to pick up that kill. Doinby's trying to return some damage onto the rest of the members here, but he's going to get locked down by a hook. Here comes the Thresh Express as we do see Rex Guy get knocked back into the base. Another kill will go down to V in the back lines as Law will go down to Swift, but OMG pick up two kills. It's okay because Doinby and Swift are still into any useful places just yet. Gold back to even after a very topsy-turvy game and that's Dragon 2 there for Shagu. The only real... He is teleporting. Here comes Dark. Poppy's going to be coming in from the back lines here. Icon's moving forward. Lord's only going to get the hook on some more here. Doinby's been knocked into a wall. Has to pop the Zonia's hourglass. Icon's been locked down. The assassin has been taken down and only the support has gone down with him. It's going to be Pekka that does get locked down here. He's able to shift out. Double kill going on over to the LeBlanc. SMLZ's in a little bit of trouble here. Rice is going to flash forward. OMG are going to lose this t fight. Only Trans left alive and the Ezreal will be able to hunt him down. I still think that was best case scenario for OMG because so much went wrong in terms of target priority there. Pekko will try to chase down the spider, see if he gets him or if he's able to execute. He's almost got the ulti actually, no not quite, needs a little bit more than that. Very cheeky there, Schwanzel hiding, I think he caught him. Did see him now, but that's a very fast release, and I think Pekka does the right thing and gives up. Ezreal does have his ultimate available. He could go for a cheeky snipe. He knows the repel was just used. Here it goes! Snipe him! Yes, he gets it! Pekko with the true shot barrage. Touchdown. It's that fight. It's just how beautifully QG fight around the terrain and the vision. Well, they're going to go for it again. Don't be get slammed into the wall one more time. He's going to get played while invisible and passive. And Poppy going to get the kill. Everyone else going to get moved out there. As Pekko's now isolated, but he takes out a list. QSS is off the death mark. Pekko, are you joking? <laughs> this is my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> well, Dragon is going to go to OMG, so they will actually stop some of that snowball. Twin is behind the pit. Dark is going to jump into the pit here. Doinby once again gets slammed into the wall, but it might not be enough. Baron's at 2,000 health. Pekka's going to try and take down Tron. Tron has gone down. SMLZ trying his best. Rek'Sai will pick up the Dragon. The Kalisto's inside the pit, dealing massive amounts of damage to the rest of Chao Gu. SMLZ is able to carry that team fight, and Echo's the only member left alive. Does he get it? Law gets it after being thrown off. But Pekko, QSS is it off. How Wait. are you alive? <laughs>
How well, did that happen? One Baron is alive, SML didn't, didn't follow through. He could still get out of this or try to 2v1. Well, he's going to go in for a dark. Actually, he's outplaced the dash there with the S with the uh, Arcane Shift. And he's going to keep going. The minions do way too much damage. He Pekka gets it. with a double. What a god. This is like EDG with Pawn and Deft. You have LGD. And the biggest name on this roster is Swift. Swift is going in. Swift is actually going to go in and take down Twan here. The Elise is no match. Toyn B is going to get locked up by the foot coming in from Law, but it's not going to be enough. As Trent now, he's getting dived on by the rest of the members of QG. They're going to knock <laughs> Rise back into the jungle. SMLZ picks up the first kill onto Brob as Toyn B is desperately trying to get into the back lines and assassinate one of the members from RNG. Law gets a nice hook in onto Swift, but here comes the tower dive round number two as V is supercharged. Slinging spells at OMG and takes down two people. Doivy's mechanics right there to go forward with the W, throw the chain, proc back, so chains up into this split and thinking this is a team to contest. Chiaoku now have 5,000 gold ahead of OMG here. Take a look at the items really quickly. Ryze has completed his Seraphs and he denies it away from Petko. The inner turret in the top lane is going to go down in favor of QG. Moore is going to get hooked up once again, but here comes Swift into the back lines. Yeah, it's going to go strong there. It's actually going to dive through, but V could be in a bit of trouble trying to fight Dark. Gets punted out of the fight. Swift is going to die as Petko is just trying to kite back. Moore, though, is dead. And Jeff Xiaogu starting to find some problems here. V got peeled off, and SMLZ going nuts. He gets the double. He's going to look for another as he goes forward. Zed's able to collect that one, and Xiaogu lose four for nothing this time. OMG. You can play with his true shop rides. We'll see if you can do it again here. Doesn't have it. No play made. Peko takes the same. Still moving out. Dark's actually going to run down for now, but the Dragon is going to go over to OMG. Swift going to eat a hook to the face, and Lua's going to fly straight in. True shop rides is there, but Swift is already quite low. The Death Knock is going to get used on him, but the Exhaust is down as Dark in the back line trying to wreak havoc. Toymi dives into the front line once again to try and do something. The Mimic will die, and Xiaogu are already losing. Peko has to kill us that off, and Chuan is going to die. Ike is going to go down as V starts to explode. SMLZ does get a kill onto the Brom, but V's doing way too much damage. SMLZ might actually be able to move this out. He's 3v1 right now. They will take him out. That's an ace for Xiaogu. And that looked like disaster initially for QG, the fact that Swift was forced out of the fight so early. The fact that Icon is forced to death mark the only member practically on the team that doesn't have a QSS or a Zanya's Hourglass, Pekko is playing these team fights phenomenally. V is doing most of the hard work, standing on that front line, setting the line of scrimmage, but Pekko is dancing beautifully around this. And with these death Tiners, Chiaogu could potentially take the game here. We have Swift rejoining them in the mid lane. They've taken down the inhibitor. They're working on the Nexus turrets. And with that one and final team fight, Chiaogu have been able to pick up game one against OMG. The QG Reapers go back to 2015 form. They win it late game in a 5v5. Yeah, one fight to rule them all. Xiaogu classic, but OMG would have a very...